Hallelujah, and thank you, Jesus. Well, it's around that time right here on KAZ Radio, where I have one of my most favorite ministries, none other than the Hour of Power with the House of Glory. Take it away, Apostle. Amen. Praise the Lord. We, re we receive you to this day because it's been a what, about a couple of months? Mm -hmm. Yes, We had a couple of months off. So we receive you to this day. And we thank God right now that we're back on the radio broadcast. Mm -hmm. Let me open up with some announcements and then we can open up a prayer and we can get into this thing. Mm -hmm. um, well, we, you know, we have moved and our address is 431 East 260th Street. Now we hold our morning prayers on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. We coming in, getting the atmosphere right, making it conducive for the worship service, which starts Sunday morning at 10 a.m. That's tomorrow morning. Then we hold our Bible study at 6 p.m. on Tuesday, and that is on Zoom. So we do that on Zoom right now until we get together so we can come back and go to the church and do our studies together. Mm -hmm. And then we do our Friday evening prayer at 7 p.m., and that is on Zoom. Now, those two numbers, that's not on Zoom. I'm sorry. That's on um I forgot the account, but the other account. But I know we got another account that we do our prayers in. And those two numbers, which we have it on our Facebook page. And our conference. And our conference mm -hmm. line. Mm -hmm. That's the conference for the Friday. Mm -hmm. And we have it on our Facebook page, the phone numbers. Feel free to check our Facebook page out for detailed information. And hopefully we'll be looking to see you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Now let us open up in prayer. Father, we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We magnify your name and we glorify you according to your word. Lord, I ask of you to give us wisdom, give us understanding, give us grace, and give us season so we may walk according to what you have given us according to the scriptures. In this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And amen. Do you want to open up and read the scriptures? Do you want me to? Yeah, I can that? open up and read the scripture. You know, I'm really happy that um, Pastor Larry gave us his uh, testimony. Yeah. Because I was thinking this topic that we're talking about today, mm -hmm. the power of the anointing. That that power the, yeah, of the, power the anointing to to show was approved. on the man of yeah. God. Yep. In spite of what he might have thought and wanted to do, but God's power was on him. And some miracles happened in that room and some signs and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're in 2 Timothy chapter 2. I thought it was Isaiah. No, we, we are, we're studying to show yourself approved on this weekend. But we're going to talk about the anointing with the studying. To show yourself oh, okay. So you want me to just open that up in scripture real quick? Read it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. This is 2 Timothy chapter 2. And it's at verse 15. The study to show yourself approved. And then what it is, I'm going to read verses 14 through 18. Okay. It says, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 14. He says, of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Study to show, your, to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, but shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness, and their word will eat as doth a canker, of whom is Hymenaeus and Philetus, who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already mm -hmm. and overthrow the faith of some. Now, what I want to do is, I know you know that part about studying it. I just mm -hmm. want to just you get a brief, give a brief understanding of it, and then we're going to go into the anointing because the, the anointing is part of studying. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I can't study if I don't have the anointing. Right. We can't do nothing without so the I want, anointing. So I want you to go ahead and chime chime in and then talk about what okay, God is Okay, to study, to show thyself approved. You know, that was 
a scripture of mine that I just fell in love with because um, I was really, really, when I first got saved and was on fire for the Lord, I studied and studied and be up in the middle of the night studying and praying. And so I do believe that we need to study to show ourselves approved to God. Mm -hmm. That helps us to know the word. That yeah. helps us to dig in there. That helps us to understand some things that may not be clear to us because the Holy Spirit will bring that revelation. But we have to study. Amen. And it helps us. Not only does it help us uh, to understand the word, but it helps our anointing to increase. Come on now. Now you can go ahead and open up that anointing. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Come because on. Because... I looked up the power of the anointing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so the power, the word power by itself is a divine supernatural ability or authority that God possesses. It is a manifestation of God's strong wisdom, sovereignty, and all of that. Mm -hmm. The anointing is the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit in the life of the believer. Amen. So with all that power yes. within us, right? we are not supposed to be failures. Say that. Come we are on. not supposed to be walking in and defeated, being defeated. Come on now. Because God gave us this authority to tread over scorpions and serpents and Anything that bites us, we can just shake it off and move. Amen. But a lot of us got to understand who we are. Come on, say and it. And who we belong to. Yes. We got to understand who God is. Really, we do. We really, really, really. We have not even tapped into a lot of things concerning God. Right, right. And so I'm ecstatic about this topic. I was listening to my brother over there give his testimony. I said, wow, the Holy Spirit was right there with him. That's right. That's right, right there with him. Matter of fact, it indwelled in him. Yes. Because he yes. had the power and he had that anointing. Even though he was thinking something else, that the Holy Spirit said, I don't think so. That's right. I like to call it, when the anointing come upon it, I like to call it an invasion mm. from heaven. Okay. 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 Mm. That's Amen. All right. Amen. Yeah, an invasion. Because <laughs> when we're going through stuff, when we're dealing with whatever we're dealing with, we're dealing with drug addiction, we're dealing with perversion, we're dealing with this, we're dealing with that. We cannot overcome this on our own. That's right. That's right. Because God didn't intend it. That's why we got saved and he gave us all of this. That's right. Come on. So now. we cannot, we can't overcome those things. Yes, we can. In our flesh. We can't in our flesh. We cannot well, in we our flesh. we can do it in the spirit. We can do it in the spirit. Yes, yes. Yes, we can. The anointing is a powerful thing. I can't pray without the anointing. We can't preach without the anointing. <laughs> we can't we can live. We can't live, you're right, without the anointing. We cannot. Come on now. You know, I've seen people in worship, and there was no anointing. Yeah. So what yeah. happens? We start trying to work that thing up mm. to make it look like the anointing is there. Right. Right. But to me, nothing shifts and nothing moves because mm. you work in that thing in your flesh. And Come we on. know there is no good thing in our flesh. So when they try to work that in their flesh, nothing's going to happen. No healings. Nobody's going to get delivered. No set free. Right. Right. But with the anointing. And I remember years ago, there was this particular preacher. He made everybody think. He had the anointing man. He would pray for people and they would fall out. And then the truth came out. Mm, okay. He had something going on where it, it would electrocute you and knock you out. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, but what people would do to make it look like 
is the anointing. Right. Mm -hmm. I know what you're saying. Yeah. And it's so good thing that you guys are bringing it back because mm -hmm. going back to verse 14, he says, of these things, put them in remembrance. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And that, right. Yeah. And then in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 14, he mm -hmm. said, in these things, put them in remembrance. Mm -hmm. And that word remembrance of that situation is saying mm -hmm. is, is a reminding. Mm -hmm. It's a reminding. So what the anointing does, it does put us into a remembrance. Okay. Reminding us. So when we do in our study, which is the word spudazo, which comes from the word pus, mm -hmm. meaning to put his foot on vanquished. Wow. Mm -hmm. So what it is is to bring us to remembrance that his foot on is on things that's already vanquished. Wow. With his anointing. It's With not his, our anointing. That's it's right. His anointing. It's his anointing. And also it says a disciples listening to their master mm. with the studying. Mm -hmm. So as a studying, not only we're reading the word mm -hmm. and, and getting in depth with the word, mm -hmm. we're hearing the anointing of the word. Mm -hmm. And we're sitting under, at his feet. Because everything that is not right in God is under his feet. Mm -hmm. Because you, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The word is dunamis, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's power. Mm -hmm. Dynamite power. Dynamite power. So when we speak that word, what we speak and release it is to destroy. Right. Right. Because dynamite, when you blow up dynamite, dynamite blows up everything. Right. It destroys it. So when we release, I like the uh, scripture that said the word is like a two-edged sword. Mm -hmm. Twisting and turning and twisting and turning. Then when you pull it out, you pull out everything that's not of God. You pull out all that guts and perversion, all the nasty stuff and with the right. word of God. Yes. And that's the power of it because that's mm -hmm. where you got to study. Right. To so show we you. can know mm -hmm. how to twist and turn and how to pull it out, mm -hmm. what to cut, how mm -hmm. that word is going to cut. Mm -hmm. Because the first thing it's going to cut is us. Yeah, right. We get it's it It's going to cut yeah. us first. Yeah. It ain't going to cut first. nobody else. It's going to cut us first. Mm -hmm. So that way we would know how to rightly divide that word of truth. Mm -hmm. you absolutely that study right. Yeah. Because the anointing of the word is mm -hmm. revealed to us, mm -hmm. and we are the disciples of that word. Mm -hmm. And then also, I would go into verse 15 concerning that, and I'm going to pull out one word. It says, a workman. Ah. Okay? Needing not to be ashamed. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. A lot of us, I got a question. Are we ashamed of what the gospel is doing in our lives? Now, we ain't ashamed to talk about Christ. Mm -hmm. Let me say it that way. Mm -hmm. But are we ashamed of what the gospel is doing to us? That word, are we ashamed of what it's doing to us? Mm -hmm. Pulling up the perversions, mm -hmm. pulling up the bad things, destroying the yokes, yeah. breaking the bondages, mm -hmm. lifting up the burdens, mm -hmm. and setting us free to speak about the goodness of the word. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and I'm going to go on to verse 16, and it says, one word I pulled out of that, it says, but shun profane and vain babblings. Mm -hmm. In other words, this word shun means avoid. Mm -hmm. Okay? You know, a lot of times we in the gospel, we want to talk about stuff. We talk about the good news. We talk about this. But sometimes we mix in a lot of unnecessary talk. Yeah, uh-huh. Unnecessary, unnecessary talk, yeah. teachings, unnecessary talk. Yeah, and yeah. we get caught up into that, mm -hmm. and we talk about it. But if it's vain and mm -hmm. it have no value to it, mm -hmm. we don't need to be discussing it. We let the people that's talking about it let them talk about it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Go ahead. Uh, I, I just thought about when you were saying we say unnecessary stuff. The word that came to me is babbling yeah mm -hmm. that's what i was thinking i said a lot of them babble yeah mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we got to avoid it sometimes mm -hmm. we just just let them have the floor yeah ju yeah just give it to them mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and then i'm gonna go over to verse 18 and pull up another word with verse 18 mm -hmm. well actually i'm gonna go to 17 first and i'll pull up two words in the 17 it says hymenaeus and philatins i mean yeah philatins Okay. Mm -hmm. Those two people, those are people. 
And they were enemies of Paul. They were enemies of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to break down something real quick and I'm going to mm -hmm. show you something. This Hymenaeus, right? His, his name came from the Greek god mm -hmm. Humus. Mm, or humans, mm. okay. Mm -hmm. this, the Greek god Humans. Mm -hmm. He was the god of the of the weddings. He was the god of the marriage ceremony. Okay. So what happened was, you know, you have your prenuptials, then you have your nuptials, right? Mm -hmm. And then you know we have what we call the days of receptions. Mm -hmm. He was the god of the reception. You know, when you go to a wedding reception, right, what do you do? You dance, you party, you have a good time. Right, you greet right. The bride, the bride right. in the right. room. And yeah. Everybody just enjoying one another and having a good time with each other. Mm -hmm. That's what that name, the, the, the Greek god humus or humans came from. And, you know, that word humans is a plural of the word human. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So these words here play amongst each other mm -hmm. because... This Greek god, humans, was a son of Apollos, and the woman was a muse. Now, you know the word amuse simply means entertain. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, so yeah. The, you're, you're entertaining in light because Apollos was the god of the light mm -hmm. or the god of the sun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the wedding entertainment portion of it mm -hmm. is you're entertaining in the light. In other words... What you're trying to do is you're trying to have a good time in all time. You see what I'm saying? Right. And his son, I mean, his friend Philetus, mm -hmm. that man was basically beloved. He was a beloved disciple of Hymenus. Mm -hmm. And they both opposed the resurrection. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what it was saying is, you know, Paul talks about suffering. Mm -hmm. It don't matter what you do. If you're a Christian, you're going to have suffering. Mm. There's going to be suffering in your life. And there's going to be a, things that cause you to die to yourself. Mm -hmm. It's going to cause you to die to your past life or your past man, the old man. And you become resurrected into the new man with Christ. Mm -hmm. And you become resurrected in victory because you overcome death. You overcome um, suffering, you mm -hmm. overcome evil, mm -hmm. you overcome those things. Mm -hmm. Now, these two people was opposed to that. They were saying that the resurrection is that one time, and it, it don't exist no more. Right, right. That's right. what these two men was teaching. Right, they're absolutely against it. And yes. they were totally against the mm -hmm. death, burial, and resurrection. Mm -hmm. Christians, that is the core Yes, of Christian, it is. Christianity. Yes, it is. The death, burial, and, and resurrection. resurrection. Mm -hmm. The death of Christ, the burial of Christ, and the resurrection of Christ, mm -hmm. which causes you to die to yourself and bury the old man and be raised into a newness of life. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about these things, these things are essential in our lives. Mm -hmm. But if you talk, I'm going to say it this way. If you talk on things that is negative, you're going to talk about the love of God. Yeah, yeah. Against the things that are negative. No yeah. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. So you don't talk about just one side of life. You talk about all sides of life. Now, I'm going to have you to chime in on what I'm saying before we go any further. Yeah, you know, I was thinking um, when you said that um, um, those guys were against uh, the resurrection, the burial. That's that is the Christian belief that Christ was uh, born of a virgin and mm -hmm. uh, he came on the earth and he died. And all that's all part of a Christian belief. And I thought about. Uh, the way things are now that we still, well, we run into a lot of people mm -hmm. that don't believe in the resurrection. And, you know, sadly, uh, some Christians struggle with that. Yeah. Yeah, some Christians yeah. do struggle. I, I'll never forget, I worked with a guy who was a deacon mm -hmm. and didn't believe in none of it. Wow. And I told him, I said, you need to resign. As a deacon. As yeah. a deacon. Yeah. 
He was sending and everything, but he had a title. And I said, you know, that's disgusting. And you're a poor example of being a Christian man. So I'm surprised me and him didn't fall out because I was rebuking him. And well, he didn't did believe in love. all of that. Yeah, you I was. Did it with love. Yes. So. Because how dare you? Mm hmm. And that's a blessing because I'm going to go to the next verse, 18, and it says, what, I, what God had pulled me out, it says, I'm going to use this one word, overthrow. The same scripture, verse 18, I'm going to use the word overthrow. Mm -hmm. And that simply means destroy. Mm -hmm. That's where the anointing come in. That's where the, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where the anointing come in because mm -hmm. you they, the, the, these two men was overthrowing with a false anointing. And you know what, Apostle, they probably was sent. Well, by they the probably devil. was yeah. by the devil. Mm -hmm. it, it probably was. And mm -hmm. but they had a false anointing because uh, the scripture says, overthrow the faith of some. Mm. It destroyed the faith of some. Mm -hmm. And I like that. A false anointing. You mm -hmm. know, it was a false anointing. Mm -hmm. Had the appearance, mm -hmm. had the words, mm -hmm. had the look, mm -hmm. had the feel, mm -hmm. but did not have the actual work. Mm -hmm. And they were overthrowing the faith of some. They were destroying the faith of some. And mm -hmm. this is what we have to look at as believers, and especially leaders. We got to watch to see whose words are building and whose words are destroying. That is a word from the throne room because this hour that we are living at right now Deception is great. Yeah. So you are absolutely right. We have to try the spirit by the spirit. We got to hear and know is God speaking. Because right. there are some that come that are wolves with that false anointing. I'm glad you touched on that. Yes, absolutely. You're absolutely right. And the mm -hmm. blessing of it is, is this. I'm going to go to Colossians chapter 4. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ahead and just read verses 5 and 6, Colossians 4. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, no, no, I'm going to wait. Oh, okay. You read, you're turning pages. You're not going on the phone. You're turning pages. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to wait till you get to the scriptures. That's how we. That's how they did it in the old school. Go ahead, four and five and six. Correct. Four, five and six. Mm -hmm. Chapter four, five and six. He says, "Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Mm -hmm. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man." So don't speak hastily. Yeah. Be careful what comes out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. Let it come out. Let speak with maturity. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Go ahead. You just talked about it. Now go ahead and bring it down. <laughs> go ahead. And so here, <laughs> yeah, here we see that it, um, walk in wisdom. I like that. Don't walk in foolishness. Mm -hmm. Walk in maturity. Walk in. The walk in the wisdom of God with the word of God. Yes. And don't be out here arguing with these folk. Amen. You know, Amen. the Bible said, don't cast our pearls uh, before swine. Don't be out here arguing with these people because you, I, uh, I see a lot, uh, a lot of other religions challenging our preachers that are out there Mm -hmm. And you got to know that you got to know when you out there on them streets because you are challenged from A to Z. Right. But they want to argue. They want to prove that Jesus Christ is not who he say he is and he's just a, a prophet and all that. So you have to use wisdom when you are speaking with these people. You got to know what you're talking about. That's right. You got to study to show thyself approved in the word of God because people come for our necks when it comes to the word of God. They come for it because they don't believe Jesus did all this. They don't believe he was crucified. They don't believe he was born of a virgin. Right. 
I've heard them say, Jesus with our father, then you don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Because he's got a heavenly father, first of all, but he had a natural father. That's right. That's right. So shut up. Mm -hmm. And even that, it's mm -hmm. just that you got to know how to answer them. Right. That's yeah. what it is. And you might have to have one word mm -hmm. with the anointing. Right. But you have to have with wisdom. With the anointing. Mm -hmm. You got to have the wisdom with the anointing. The anointing, yeah, I because agree. Because if you don't have the anointing, I don't care how eloquent that you talk. That's right. That's okay? right. Okay? Mm -hmm. It ain't destroying nothing. N yeah, absolutely. It ain't awesome. breaking nothing. It ain't breaking nothing. Because the truth is, God or divine wisdom have mm -hmm. the anointing on it. Yeah, divine wisdom. You're right. Mm -hmm. It have the anointing on it. So you have to have the anointing with the wisdom. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And even if you have wisdom, you got to make sure it's coming from above. Sometimes you got to be slow to speak. That's Sometimes right. you got to be slow to anger. In other mm -hmm. words, you can't be quick to dispute. You might have to just hear for a second. Right. And then just use one word to answer. Absolutely, uh, Apostle. Uh, one of the things I really, really stress when we out here evangelizing, we cannot allow the spirit of anger to intervene. Yeah, that's true. We cannot, and we do have to definitely pray and move under the unction of the anointing. That's right. Because some of them things folks say can get under your skin if you allow it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we walk in wisdom. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says here, walk in wisdom toward them that are without. Without what? Without the knowledge of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. without the knowledge of our God, because there's so many gods that have gone forth out here in the earth. Yeah. And so without the knowledge of Jesus Christ, so we do have to walk gently, like you were saying, mm -hmm. because I've seen some Christians get questioned, get mad and start swinging. Well, that's the wrong thing to do. Right. And you ain't going to draw nobody unto Jesus, not with that attitude and not with that behavior. Right. So, yeah, we do have to walk in wisdom toward them. And let your speech be always with grace and season with salt. I like that. Okay. I like that. Because to me, that says season with salt is season with maturity. Right. And you can't go in there with the wrong attitude. That's the grace part. That's yeah. the grace part. Yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. And then with that grace part is mm -hmm. grace, you know, is unmerited, unmerited, unmerited favor. favor. Right. So mm -hmm. you got to give them credit mm -hmm. when they don't even deserve the credit. That's how you can answer it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's how they hear you. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's how they are here. You, you got it because mm -hmm. that's what unmerited favor is. You're mm -hmm. getting credit without you deserving the credit. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of what Christ has done, not because of what we have done mm -hmm. or what we're doing. It's what he has done mm -hmm. and what he is doing. Because if we do it, like you said, under our own strength, that's why, especially, I'm glad you mentioned about evangelism. Mm -hmm. That's why when we do evangelize, mm -hmm. we have to have a prayer team mm -hmm. or a prayer group mm -hmm. in the church. In the church. Praying. Yes. Coming against all spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. Yes, Lord. Yes, so Lord. it's not yes, just Lord. coming against the spiritual wickedness of the enemies mm -hmm. out there. It's mm -hmm. also coming against the spirit wickedness of our flesh. Yeah, absolutely. That is in us. Mm -hmm. So we'll know how to control ourselves. Because mm -hmm. anger is a sign of losing self-control. Yeah. And anger turns into wrath, and wrath turns into judgment, mm -hmm. and judgment turns into action. And what actions are we going to show? Mm -hmm. You know, that's why it's vital to have a prayer team or a group, mm -hmm. just two or three gathered in the sanctuary mm -hmm. while the rest of the people are going out because the prayer is what's breaking the thing. Yeah, the absolutely. The prayer is impossible. where the anointing is being sent. That's right. So the words mm -hmm. carried by the voice of the anointing mm 
mm-hmm. can really destroy some things. And you know, Apostle, there's two uh, pastors that I follow, and these men, one of them is a serious historian of Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. and he can go there with them. But I see a lot of uh, uh, people from other religions, man, they go at him. Mm-hmm. They go at him, but he, he comes back, you know. And so this these two guys were Muslims and Christians, and they were at him, and he'd kick it back. But then he stopped it because mm-hmm. he told them, he said, you're not hearing me. Right. He said, you're not trying to hear me. And so he shook their hand and said, go with God. And they were just like, what? You know, they were just devastated. The other pastor, he has an, uh, an anointing. He goes into the LGBT community. And that's a tough one because they all are angry and want to fight and spit spit at him mm-hmm. but the grace of god is on this man of god because he has a microphone he gives them a chance to speak he right. responds he let them spew out their anger and their rage he responds i mean they get in his face they point you have really got to have the wisdom of god and the grace of god and a community p- praying because when they get in your face they want to hit you and swing at you and do all kind of things. Mm-hmm. You have to have all of the above and the anointing. Right. And this man of God, he goes out there without hesitation, but he has a team with him. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So yes, you're and absolutely the, right. And I the thought blessing about is those too, two pastors. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. most people do stuff mm-hmm. to want you to hit them, so they, they can, can sue you. Right. Or right. Sue you. Mm-hmm. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that's for today's society. Yeah, society. Yes. Because back in the Greek time, they just walked up on you and slapped you. Yes. And it wasn't nothing you could do about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they just walk up and just slap you right in the face. And you had to turn up yeah, and cheat. You had to turn up. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> out here, they do stuff to want you to put your hand, physical hands on mm-hmm. them so they can sue you, number one, press charges, get you put mm-hmm. in jail, number mm-hmm. two, mm-hmm. and number three, blaspheme the name of Yes. Make the gospel look like it don't have any power. Any power, that's right. Make it look like the anointing is not working. Right. Mm -hmm. But that self-control is grace. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. We all have to have that self-control of grace Mm -hmm. at one time or another in our Mm -hmm. lives. I'm not going to tell you that we all here arriving. Let's Mm -hmm. not be fake about this thing. Mm -hmm. We all do it. But the love that God have for us mm-hmm. and the love that we have to shed will mm-hmm. teach us about the self-control. Yes, absolutely. You know? Mm-hmm. This is and, a good scripture. I'm and, sorry. Um, no, go ahead. Finish up. Mm-hmm. Uh, let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. The grace of God in the season of our words, so we know how to answer these people. Because, ooh, these folk, they have a lot of anger and rage, not toward us, but toward Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. I always tell people when we go out to evangelize, don't try not to get offended, because they don't reject you, but they reject who you come in the name of. Yes, yes. They reject that. They just got a problem with Christ. They just have a problem. And so, yeah, it helps for us to know how to answer and how to deal with folk. And we do approach it. We got to approach it with love. Do not try to approach it anger with anger because somebody mm. will get hurt. Okay? Things or will anger get out. With pride. Yeah, or mm. anger with pride. And things that get out of control, and oops, there it goes. Yeah. There it goes. It hits the media and another black eye for the Christian. So, yeah. Yes. And we got to be careful because right now with social media mm-hmm. and if and our smartphones, anybody can just record everything you're doing. Oh, yeah, that's what they're doing now. And oh. they record it and put it out there mm-hmm. on what is going on because 
if, if, when it's recorded, you're going to see either one side or another side or both sides mm-hmm. being wrong. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's careful. You got to be careful of, of how we talk and why we talk. Now, if you're a person like me, straightforward, <laughs> I might have to be a support <laughs> when we go out and evangelize. And I might have to answer questions with <laughs> one or two words and then back up and pray while the person with the more gentle voice mm-hmm. can take the lead. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because nowadays people are so super sensitive. Oh my God, stuff. say a word. You really can't just be straight honest with people mm-hmm. no more. Mm-hmm. You have to learn how to tap dance around people and give certain answers and hope they get metaphors and hope mm-hmm. they get the analogies and mm-hmm. hope they get these mm-hmm. parables and hope they get all of this stories mm-hmm. that's being told mm-hmm. instead of just telling them, look, you either get saved or you're going to hell. Yeah, you can't that's, say that. Can't no do more. that no yeah. more. Mm-mm. Oh, Mm-mm. The, the word of God condemns homosexuality. Mm-hmm. You can't say that like that anymore. Yeah, not because anymore. People right. are so sensitive, and they got the government backing them. They sure. You yes, know, they do have the government they can't, backing them. You can't them. do anything. You can't about talk them. like that anymore. You can't talk. You can talk like that, but then it's gonna make you look like the enemy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, a person like me with a straightforward voice. I can only come in with one or two words with answers, but I got to back up and pray Mm -hmm. and let, I say, the more gentle, peaceful, Mm -hmm. negotiable people take the front. Mm -hmm. And I'll come in with the answers if they can't, Mm -hmm. if they seem they get stuck. That's why you got to go with two witnesses at least at least you know what i'm saying because one might get stuck but the other one might know the answer Mm -hmm. but the other one say the answer Mm -hmm. but don't take over just say the answer and And and, step back step back Mm -hmm. and let that other person lead Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. that's another thing about christians too we got to learn how to win the step forward and win the step back yeah in in our evangelism Mm -hmm. and i'm speaking of that I'm finna move on. Mm-hmm. I'm finna go over to First Thessalonians chapter four. Okay. Because all of this is working hand in hand. Mm-hmm. Because, like I said, you you're laboring mm-hmm. when you're evangelizing. Mm-hmm. When first, I'm evangelizing, mm-hmm. First Thessalonians four, chapter four, and I'll be reading verses nine through twelve. Mm-hmm. It says, but as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another. First thing, we got to love one another. Mm -hmm, First of all, yeah. And he said in verse 10, and indeed ye do it toward all the brother which are in all Macedonia. Mm -hmm. But we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more. So love, you got to increase while you're in love. Mm-hmm. Even if you helping everybody, you still got to know how to increase in love. Mm-hmm. And then it says, verse 11, and that ye study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we commanded you, that ye may walk honestly towards them that are without and that ye may have lack of nothing. Mm-hmm. So, in other words, we got to be diligent to do work to provide for our church, provide for the local assembly, mm-hmm. and not depend on the world system. Oh, absolutely. But we do fall short of that, you know, a lot. Yeah. Falling, uh, yeah, we fall short of that. Um, sometimes... Uh, we might need a refresher course yeah. on the way God's system is meant to bless his people mm. and to come off of dependent on the things of the world. Because to me, those things of the world, you know, they have agendas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so we have to, we have to. And we can't al- allow uh, abandoning the work for God 
and getting frustrated. And we do get frustrated and irritated and and be ready to throw in the towel about some things. Mm. But we have to stay diligently with God and everything he's laid out for us to do. Right. As, pros- as prospering, you know, one of the saddest things I hate to hear when people label, when you the church starts talking about money, uh, they are labeling it now the prosperity gospel. Right. right. And that just... That saddens me. But, you know, some of it has stepped into that arena mm-hmm. and messed up. Mm-hmm. And people just cannot forgive or don't want to look past it. So, and, yeah. Mm-hmm. And also, in the same mm-hmm. token of the anointing, mm-hmm. we have to touch each other. Mm-hmm. We have to touch each other. Mm-hmm. We have to be in contact, touching and agreeing with each other. Mm-hmm. And I'm not talking like we are in the same house of glory. We that should be automatic with that. Right. I'm talking about the house of glory touching other ministries. Right. Mm-hmm. The other churches. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. not just ministries, but other churches. Okay. Other that churches. Have ministries in their church. Mm-hmm. It starts with other min- with our one of our ministries touching with another ministry, mm-hmm. but introducing church to church. And we're touching each other, church to church, in our prayer life, mm-hmm. in our oh, giving. Oh, that's a good word, yeah. In, a, in, our, mm-hmm. in our love towards each other mm-hmm. because the love is an action. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I can tell you I love you all day mm-hmm. until you tell me that you need some food. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? And then I say, I'll pray for you, brother. And I got a pantry full of food. Mm-hmm. Instead of me going to my pantry, pulling out some food, Mm-hmm. And bless you with it. I, or I, I'll take even a further choice. Instead of me directly blessing you with the food, mm-hmm. I can give it to the church and ask the church, can you give it to Sister S- Elaine? Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That way I'm not directly getting the attention, mm-hmm. but I'm being a church member laboring mm-hmm. with our leaders, and our leaders is getting the attention to the church and the attention to Christ mm-hmm. because we're laboring amongst each other mm-hmm. and we're touching one another and we know how to love one another, mm-hmm. not only in our prayers, not only in our words, but also in our giving yeah. and also in our actions. Mm-hmm. And the mm-hmm. anointing will destroy whatever negativity that's trying to yoke up. Oh, people. that is such a word. Yes, the anointing will destroy, won't it? Won't it? You know what yes. I'm saying? Through our love in mm-hmm. our secret giving, not our mm-hmm. public giving. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yes. Not yeah. me showing that I gave you something. And you know, we always need to be reminded that love is kind. Yes. Love is patient. Yes. Love is long suffering. Love is what love does. That's right. And we have to always be, we need to be, always be reminded, not just the house of glory, but the whole body of Christ. That's right. We need to be reminded. I'm so glad the body of Christ, it used to be years ago, we used to be in competition. My pastor can preach better than your pastor. We used yeah, to deal with that foolishness, yeah, you know? I remember people used to I'm talk so like that. I'm so glad we passed that. I don't know what to do. That's because it. Because we are one body. Right. Black, white, Asian. Members. That's right. right. Puerto Rican, Hispanic, Native American. We are one body. That's and we right. got to love one another. Love is kind. And we it's got gentle. to help our brothers and sisters. And is giving. And is giving. You know, I, I remember someone telling me they were in the church and they needed a ride home. And people from the church, her and her son, standing at the bus stop and people were waving. Wouldn't even stop to pick her up and take her home. But here we in the church and you just told me, I love you. Right. And we have to get past that foolishness. We really, really do. And I pray we have. And we, yeah. we're growing. It's, it's a yeah. growing process thing mm-hmm. because let me be honest with you. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, mistrust 
Oh, that's a good word, mistrust. Will cause you not to take a love action. Yeah, that's you good. Because yeah. when you do that, mm -hmm. you be picking them up and they be like, oh, did they give you some gas money? Or, oh, yeah. Did okay. they do yeah. this for you? Yeah. And you be like, well, no, I'm not looking for that. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you looking for that's that. That's right, but, but not I'm not me. looking that's for that. That's right, right. You know what I'm yes. saying? I'm looking to be a blessing. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I've been blessed. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm saying it that way is because right when, right when we're about to close, I'm going to take you right back to 2 Timothy chapter 2. 2 Timothy. Mm -hmm. Yep, chapter 2. Mm-hmm. So 2 Timothy chapter 2, like when we had started in 2 Timothy chapter 2. Mm -hmm. 2 Timothy chapter 2. Yeah. So yeah, the, the, I'm glad that we've moved from a lot of stuff. Uh, 2 Timothy yep. chapter 2. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I thank God we're growing. And I know Christ is on his way, 2 Timothy chapter 2. Mm -hmm. And like you said, now finish your conversation before we go to the scriptures, as you were saying. That we have to get it together, because when Christ come back, he come back for his bride, and the bride got to be ready. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Now, 2 Timothy chapter 2, I'm going to read verses 8 all the way down to verse 13. Okay. It says, remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even under bonds, but the word of God is not bound. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. It is a faithful saying. For if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. Mm -hmm. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he, will all, he also will deny us. Oh, yes. If we believe not, yet he abide faithful. He can. And yeah. he cannot yeah. deny himself. himself. Wow. See, what it is, mm -hmm. is I'm going to say it this way. Mm -hmm. We got to stay faithful. Unto God. Unto mm -hmm. the word of God. Yeah. Even when we have doubts. Even when we have doubts. Even when we have doubts. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we can doubt. I don't care what nobody say. If you're a Christian... And you ain't been saved yesterday <laughs> or five minutes ago. Mm -hmm. You have certain doubts yeah, when yeah. it comes to this faith. Mm -hmm. But he's faithful to us. Right. And he will not deny himself. Mm -hmm. This is why you study. To show thyself approved. To show yes, yourself sir. approved. Yes. Because yes. you're not showing yourself approved. What you're showing is God has approved you. Mm -hmm. By not denying his own word. Mm -hmm. When he said that word has come forth, mm -hmm. that word will perform what that word yes, is supposed to do. That's right. That's and it will not return yeah. void yeah. in your life. That's doing it. It will do mm -hmm. what it's going to do mm -hmm. when you study that word. Yes. Because like I said, I don't care what nobody say. Mm -hmm. It's times in this walk where it's dark. And it's dim. And it gets tight. It gets tight, mm -hmm. but, but you got to right. stay right. Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to be yeah. right. But <laughs> you going to say some things yeah. out your mouth. Yes, sir. That yes, you sir. might regret later. Yes, sir. But God is faithful. God is faithful. God yes. is the one that's faithful. Yes, sir. Yes, When sir. he called you and you answered the call. Yes, sir. He will never leave you. Mm -hmm. He will never forsake you. Mm -hmm. He will never give up on you. That's right. Mm -hmm. I know they say don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. Can, I, can, I, let me be honest. Yeah. Sometimes we give up yes, on God. Yes, we do. Amen. Say Sometimes we throw our hands say up on word. God. Say Sometimes we, we like, Lord, I don't know yeah. what's going on. Mm -hmm. But yet, even though he slay me, yet yeah, I well, will uh, trust him. I will trust him. Even though I want to die, yeah, mm -hmm. 
He won't let me die. He won't let you die. Because his word is alive in me. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. And I'm going to say this because I yes. got to say it like yes. this to us, man, because mm -hmm. every testimony is a powerful testimony. That's right. Mm -hmm. Your testimony ain't too small to tell it. Mm -hmm. Your testimony mm -hmm. ain't too big mm -hmm. to brag about it. Yes, sir. Because I'm going to tell you, when you brag about your testimony and people say, oh, brother, you are blessed, you got your reward. Mm -hmm. But if you talk about his love and you telling the death seriousness of that testimony mm -hmm. and people are affected by that testimony, that's the anointing. Mm -hmm. That's where the anointing work mm -hmm. on your testimony. So sometimes you might have to give a testimony while you're witnessing the people. That's right. Sometimes you might, that, that might be the answer that people need, that testimony. Mm -hmm. That's a good word right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's and, a good and word. I'm saying yes, this because yes. he's faithful because he will not deny himself. He will not. He, that word, will, God will never deny his word. So you have to study. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking for those of you that's been in this word for a little mm -hmm. while and mm -hmm. you're going through something. Season people. Mm-hmm. Go to your word and study mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And then speak what you study back to the Father. That's good. Now, for those of us that has been listening, mm -hmm. and you say, what is this? This is an invitation to get to know Christ. Yes. This is an invitation for you to know who he really is. Mm -hmm. Once you confess your sin and receive him into your life. We can, can, can we, do you want to lead them into salvation or do you want me to? No, you go them? right okay, in. You're doing good. Do mm -hmm. that. All you simply have to say is, Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. And save me. And save me. And then you end it with a thank you. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. And you are saved. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you that have said that prayer, go to um, the House of Glory Facebook page. I think it's the House of Glory International Church, mm -hmm. right? Yes, it is. Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And just leave a comment. Mm -hmm. And if possible, I can tell you to leave a number, but just leave a comment and come and visit 431 East 260th, Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock a.m. The doors are open. And like they said at Home Hotel 6, well, we will leave the light on. <laughs> God bless you. May he keep you. And may he strengthen you. And may the Lord add his grace unto your love. And may he increase your love daily. In Jesus' name. Just Amen. One more, one more thing. We have drive through. We have a drive through prayer September the 14th, 1 to 4 o'clock. Come on down. Come on. You don't have to get out your car. We'll come up to you and we will pray for you. Come on and see us. Drive through prayer at the House of Glory, 431 East 260th Street. Love you guys. Bye. Bye-bye.